Hello folks, this is the second series of square bet inventory system and this series will help you to understand how to use this new system. Ok, so first thing to do is to import the playmaker in your project. After that you can import square bet inventory system and there are a lot of folders in this uh, square bet package. When you open this uh, demo example scene you will get a scene like this. And here you can see how everything is done, what managers you have in the scene and um, how everything is set up. So for this um, tutorial I will create a new scene. Create a new scene. Let's save changes. And let's add some ground. basic cube zero, zero, 0 let's add some directional light and let's change this ground to the ground okay now we have our basic scene let's um, delete this camera or you can just go here into folders and main camera and just you can copy this FSM and paste into this main camera because there is no other FSM components on this camera so let's paste this and this will be our main camera that follows our player using this smooth fall action okay let's add our player to the scene, system resource and player. You can drag this player to your scene or as you can see our player has some components on him. First of all we have the animator because you, we use a uh, mechanism system, just body capsule collider, audio listener and this only one FSM component is on this player. There are a lot of game object fields that you can define here. So you have to drag your game objects properly. Let's see what this player has. There is a object interact system and that is game object here. As you can see this game object will detect what um, is near what is uh, in, and in, it will interact with other items or game objects on the scene okay and um, this player stats this is your player every single um, every single value and attributes so as you can see there is a basic dexterity energy health strength everything everything is defined here in this player stats it's also available in this system resource as you can see player stats is here and you can just drag it uh, under your player like this and drag into this player stats so we have game object interact system player stats camera target that will be followed by your camera and other um, other game objects are your equip uh, parents for equipped items. This amulet holder is a empty game object that is just positioned properly where you want your amulet to appear when you equip that item. So it will appear here. For other game objects it, it is the same. Um, armor holder it is uh, under this bone. Um, example spine and it's here so your armor when you equip it it will appear here you just have to uh, create these um, holders and drag them and set their position and rotation properly so you can use your equip uh, on your desired positions and rotations because uh, this armor when equipped it will use same position as this parent 
it will just reset its position and rotation. Those game objects are also holders. You can find them under this holder holders folder. And these are nothing but empty game objects. Uh, this system uses uh, get FSM game objects. So when you want to access this emulate holder, you will use get FSM game object from player and you will get access to this and you can parent your item to this uh, game object. Okay, so that's about player. And next thing to do, let's add some. First of all, this is GUI root. This game object is responsible for your game starting. And uh, when your scene is loaded, this game object will calculate all required values. A lot of uh, game objects here that we have to define. Let's add them to the scene. System resource. First, let's add let's add inventory. Just parent it under your your root, and drag this inventory to the inventory game object. Now let's drag some other game objects from here. Inventory item list. Let's drag it here, and item highlight. Let's drag it to the highlight. Create this equipment, and drag it to the equipment field. If you're using crafting system, you have to drag that as well and parent it to the UI root and drag to this empty game object field. This main menu same goes for that game object. Drag it here. Player stats GUI. This will be responsible for displaying your player stats and attributes on screen. Add this uh, camera GUI and drag to this field. This camera GUI will have this layer GUI and it will render only that layer. Main camera, we have to set this layer not to be rendered because this camera will render your player stats and your inventory items will be rendered by this camera here. Last thing to do is to create empty game object, call it bars, reset position and drag it to this UI root and drag it here. This bars will serve as a parent of your energy, health or any other uh, progress bar you have in your scene. System will use childs of these bars to find what progress bar you want. So we want two bars. Let's add them. This progress bar here. Let's add this progress bar to this bars. Uh, this will be your health bar. As you can see, let's um, disable this for a moment. As you can see, this is your health bar. And you can set uh, values here. This will be your starting values and this will calculate your bar white and bar hit um, when game starts. So let's duplicate this bar. Call it energy bar. This one will be health bar. And let's change some properties in this energy bar. Instead of this health bar texture we will use energy. Bar texture set color to blue like this. Frame is the same, and this temporary bar will use values like this. The last thing to do is to set this to like this 0.3, and here we'll set um, 6.3. Okay, that's about bars, and that's everything about uh, UI root you have to set before this these values here and these these are modifiers that will calculate your icon size on screen and icon offset to demonstrate that let's let's add some items to the scene items 3d items let's add this hammer shield sturdy
items we want. So you can see that as well. And let's press play in game view. As you can see, when you approach item and press E key, it will appear in your inventory. We don't have enough attributes to equip that item, so we can. But we can equip this shield here, and it will be equipped and parented to this game object here, so it can appear on your player properly. Okay, so let's add some container to the scene. First of all, let's add this chest here. And let's drag this container to our chest. Uh, this container we have to fill. We can close this and under items, GUI items, uh, just drag three items for your choice. Let's say is GUI ring and elixir of health. This is the, your UID key for this game object. This game object has defined item UID to I IR plate. Okay, and let's fill these other values to ring and three L HP. You have to define this these keys here also. And here you define how many of these items you want to appear when you open this container. Let's say ten. Let's say five and for last, let's say twenty five. Example here, you have to define some container properties as well. First of all, let's drag this chest cover to this game object so it, it can rotate and uh, open cover. You can use this randomized system. If you set this to true, system will look into these values and if I set this to be 0 0.1 basically random will go from 10% to 100% like this and this randomized item factor you can use to random your item number basically it will get all your defined game objects here and for example if you have 10 items defined and you want to use random and set this to 0 0.1 and let's press play to see these results and let's open this chest as you can see we got uh, randomized values we set this to 25 and we got uh, 15 okay let's you can pick items like this or you can, if you have more than 10, because then 10 is default, you can use this slider to transfer your items to your inventory and to your container as well if you want. Or you can use this take all. These uh, icons top will selectively display your desired items. And if you press take all, it will close your container automatically. So that will be it for this first tutorial of this new square byte inventory system and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you uh, what are the differences about this system and the last version because this version is version 3 and as you can see this version doesn't use any global variable. We don't have any global right here because everything we set it can be localized and it can be accessed using get FSM actions. So thank you for watching and see you next time.